a quick tutorial using sample data. In this example, we're going to compare two drivers and find out how to use circuit tools to improve lap times. The sample files used in this tutorial were from a Fun Cup race in Anglesey with two different drivers from two very similar cars. First, we'll load the two sessions from the two different drivers. We have already shown how to rename these files in a previous tutorial, which makes analysis easier. The two files are lined up alongside each other, so how do we start looking for the differences? The very first step is to turn on the Delta T channel, which is located in the data window. Note that if you cannot see the unused channels, you can change their visibility in the Home tab. With the Delta T channel turned on, the first thing to do is to look for the biggest area for improvement. In this example, it is turn 8, but between the corner entry and the corner exit, the faster driver gained 0.3 seconds. Let's examine this in more detail to find out why. First, let's look at where this occurred on the track. We'll move the cursor to this area and then display the circuit map layout. A quick way to swap to this layout is by pressing F11. This was the hairpin, which is between two long straights. By zooming in, you can immediately see that the faster driver, whose trace is in red, seems to take a much tighter line into the apex of the corner. So let's verify this by looking at the video. We will select the default layout by using the F4 hotkey and then zoom into the area we want to examine by dragging a box from left to right around the area. Then move the cursor along using the mouse. As the cursor moves on the graph, the video steps through individual frames. In doing this, you can clearly see that the faster driver takes a much tighter entry into the corner. But this has meant that his apex speed is 4 miles an hour slower, so why is this faster? The answer lies in the distance they both travel to the same point, with a slower driver covering nearly 10 metres more. We will show you how to measure this distance later on. This gains the faster driver 0.3 seconds up to the apex, even though he is travelling 4 miles an hour slower. From the apex to the exit, as the faster driver is travelling more slowly, he has got onto the throttle earlier and also used more of the exit kerb. As a result, he is now travelling at the same speed as the slower driver and by the time he exits the corner, the gain is still around 0.3 seconds. To work out the difference in distances between these two lines, turn on the Distance channel and change the cursor type to Delta. This will then show the distance travelled by each driver in the selected window and in this case we can see that this is around 10 metres. The Delta cursor type changes the values in the Data window to show the difference between the start and end value of each channel in the window currently being shown. Always remember to change the cursor type back to Current once you have used this function. Up the straight, the slower driver gains back a small amount of time, but as the initial exit speeds are similar, this is down to a change in headwind which is common at this circuit. As the driver has travelled a different distance around this corner, it clearly demonstrates how important it is to use GPS position to line up these laps instead of distance, which would have been 10 metres out. Now let's have a look at another section of two corners. In this section, we can see the faster driver has gained another chunk of time, so let's zoom in and have a look. In the first of these two corners, you can see that the slower driver has a faster apex speed, but a slower exit speed. So what's going on? The answer lies in the details. Let's start at the beginning of the corner. The faster driver has positioned the car to use slightly more of the track just before turning. Moving on to the apex, he has widened the corner by using more kerb. And in the exit of the corner, he has run further out, opening up the corner. The net result is that this has allowed him to carry more speed through to the exit. Pressing F11 to switch to the track view, you can see the faster driver has a later turn in point and turns in much tighter, hence the slower apex speed. But he lets the car drift right to the outside of the bend, maximising the corner exit speed. Switching back to the default view by pressing F4, let's look at the next corner. They turn in using the same edge of the track, but the faster driver maintains a higher apex speed this time by using a lot more kerb. It is a similar story on the exit. By using more kerb, the faster driver can exit this corner at a higher speed. The overall gain through this section is 0.3 seconds. 
By combining video and GPS data and providing powerful tools such as the GPS position based Delta T channel, you can very quickly find out where you can go faster using a few simple rules. And that's the end of the tutorial.